The story of Algeria, like a beautifully woven tapestry, is one of historical depth, immense cultural richness, and undulating landscapes, stretching from the Mediterranean coast to the vast expanses of the Sahara Desert. Nestled in the Maghreb region of North Africa, Algeria's past and present stand as a testament to a myriad of influences and epics. Home to ancient civilizations, Algeria's historical timeline is as fascinating as it is intricate. The region was originally inhabited by the Berbers, an ethnic group native to North Africa, whose rich culture and traditions continue to thrive to this day. The Berbers established several prominent kingdoms and cities, including the Kingdom of Numidia in the eastern part of what is now Algeria. The Berbers' influence in Algeria cannot be overstated, with their language, Tamazite, recognized as a national language alongside Arabic. However, Algeria's history didn't halt with the Berbers. The land would play host to several conquerors and settlers, each leaving their distinct imprint on the country's cultural tapestry. The Romans, notably, left their mark on Algeria with the ancient city of Timgad, often referred to as the Pompeii of Africa. The city's ruins, a UNESCO World Heritage Site today, give an insight into Roman urban planning and architecture. The Arab invasion of the 7th century brought with it the Islamic religion, which now predominates in Algeria, leaving a lasting impact on the culture, architecture, and social structure of the region. These influences are visible in the Grande Mosque of Algiers, the oldest mosque in the city, whose beautiful minaret stands as a testament to the intricate Andalusian architectural style. Ottoman rule followed, with Algiers becoming a vital part of the Ottoman Empire in the 16th century. During this period, Algiers, the capital city, grew into a key hub for trade and piracy in the Mediterranean. The Kasbah, a historic citadel located in the old part of Algiers, bears the rich imprints of Ottoman architecture and urban design. The French invasion in 1830 began a new chapter in Algeria's history, one fraught with cultural imposition, violent confrontations, and economic exploitation. The French ruled for over 130 years, imposing their language and culture. To this day, the French influence is visible in Algeria, especially in the architecture, with French-style boulevards and buildings dotting the cities of Algiers, Oran, and Constantine. The struggle for independence from French colonial rule was a grueling and bloody one. Fought primarily between the French and the National Liberation Front FLN, it lasted from 1954 to 1962 and ended with Algeria gaining independence on July 5, 1962. The War of Independence has a deep resonance in Algerian society today, as it defines the country's national identity and underscores its values of freedom and resistance. Contemporary Algeria is a vibrant blend of tradition and modernity. Algiers, the country's capital, encapsulates this duality. The city is divided into two parts, the old city or the Casbah, and the new city or French, Algiers, each a testament to a distinct era of Algeria's history. The Casbah, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an ancient maze of winding streets and alleys, brimming with traditional houses, mosques, Ottoman palaces, and bustling markets. Walking through the Kasbah is like taking a trip back in time, where every corner is a testament to Algeria's past. Meanwhile, French Algiers is a showcase of modern Algeria. Wide boulevards lined with French colonial buildings, bustling cafes, restaurants, and boutiques, give the city a Mediterranean charm. Notably, the Notre Dame de Frique, a symbol of the French presence, overlooks the Bay of Algiers from a cliff offering a panoramic view of the city and the Mediterranean Sea. Beyond Algiers, Oran, Algeria's second-largest city, is another marvel. Known as the Radiant City, Oran is famous for its Spanish Ottoman architecture, music, and rai, a form of folk music that originated in the 1920s. Rai is a vibrant expression of Algerian identity and popular culture. Constantine, named after the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, is a city unique in its own right. Perched on a plateau, cut by a deep gorge, the city's topography is as intriguing as its history. Known as the City of Bridges, Constantine offers a breathtaking view of the Rumel Gorge, especially from the iconic Sidi Masid Bridge. Tlemcen, once the capital of a Berber kingdom, is known for its Islamic architecture. The Great Mosque of Tlemcen, one of the oldest in Algeria, is a monument of unique beauty, boasting an exquisite mix of Moorish and Andalusian architectural styles. The history and culture of Algeria are not confined to its cities alone. The country's natural landscape is equally mesmerizing. 
The Saharan region of Algeria, characterized by its vast sand dunes, rugged mountains, and oasis towns, is a world unto itself. The Tassili Najer National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is famed for its prehistoric rock art and its spectacular natural sandstone formations. The Ahagar National Park, another gem of the Sahara, is known for its volcanic landscapes, and the Tuareg people, a Berber ethnic group, who navigate this austere yet fascinating environment with seasoned skill. The Tuaregs, often known as the Blue Men of the Sahara, due to their indigo-dyed clothing, are emblematic of the Saharan region's cultural richness. The Mediterranean coast of Algeria is a world apart from its Saharan region. With beautiful beaches and a mild Mediterranean climate, this region is famous for its tourism, fishing, and agriculture, especially citrus fruits and olives. The city of Inaba, situated along the coast, boasts beautiful beaches and is known for the Basilica of St. Augustine, an important Christian site. Algerian cuisine, like its history, is a delightful fusion of different cultural influences. Staples include couscous, often considered the national dish, and a variety of tagines, slow-cooked savory stews. French influence can be seen in the popular Chorba Frick, a variant of the French soup au pesto, whereas the merguez, a spicy mutton or beef sausage, testifies to the Andalusian impact. Algeria's contribution to literature is significant. Algerian-born Albert Camus won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1957 for his existentialist works, many of which focus on the human condition in the context of Algerian landscapes. Other notable figures include Mouloud Mamouri, who penned works in Berber and French, preserving and promoting Berber heritage, and Asiya Jaber, a feminist writer and filmmaker who delved into the intricacies of being an Algerian woman. Algerian cinema has received global acclaim, with the film, Chronique des Annies de Bray's, Chronicle of the Years of Fire, by Mohamed Lakdar Hamina winning the prestigious Palme d'Or at the 1975 Cannes Film Festival. The film, like many in Algerian cinema, explores themes of colonization, identity, and struggle. The issue of identity plays a crucial role in Algerian society. The country grapples with a dual Arab-Berber identity, a result of its historical and cultural evolution. While Arabic is the official language, Tamazite, the Berber language, was granted official status in 2016, recognizing the Berber contribution to Algerian identity. This decision marked a significant step toward acknowledging Algeria's multi-ethnic reality. Soccer, or as they call it, football, is a national passion in Algeria. The national team, known as Les Fenix, the Desert Foxes, has a fervent following. The victory at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations was a moment of immense pride, reinforcing soccer's role as a unifying force in the country. Beyond the major cities and the bustling football scene, Algeria is home to a diverse wildlife landscape. In the Ahagar National Park, species such as the Barbary macaque, Dorcas gazelle, and cheetah can be found. The country is also a birdwatcher's paradise, boasting over 400 bird species, including the rare and endemic Algerian nuthatch. In terms of economy, Algeria is heavily reliant on its oil and gas reserves. The country is the sixth largest gas exporter globally and holds the third largest oil reserves in Africa. However, Algeria has been making efforts to diversify its economy, focusing on sectors like agriculture, industry, and renewable energy. Despite its rich resources, Algeria faces several socioeconomic challenges. Unemployment, particularly among the youth, remains a significant issue. Political instability, exacerbated by the Hirak protest movement in 2019 demanding political and economic reforms, has posed additional challenges. Women in Algeria have been at the forefront of societal change. While traditionally, Algerian women's roles were largely confined to the home, this has gradually changed. Women played a crucial part in the War of Independence, and their status has evolved significantly since then. Today, women are increasingly visible in public life, participating in politics, academics, and the workforce. Algerian festivals and holidays offer a vibrant snapshot of the country's cultural diversity. The Yenayer New Year, celebrated by the Berbers, is an age-old tradition marking the agricultural calendar. The Rai Music Festival in Oran and the Timgad International Music Festival showcase Algeria's rich musical heritage. Ramadan, Eid, and Maulid, the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, are key religious observances in this predominantly Muslim nation. Algeria has one of the most significant education systems in the region, 
with schooling mandatory and free for children aged 6 to 16. However, the country grapples with issues related to the quality of education and high dropout rates. The French language, once predominant in Algerian education, has been gradually replaced by Arabic, but tensions remain over the place of Berber and French in the curriculum. The Algerian War of Independence plays a significant role in contemporary Algerian literature and cinema. The war is often depicted as a brutal and dehumanizing period, but also as a time of unity and national awakening. This has allowed the Algerian population to come to terms with this traumatic past and to shape their understanding of their national identity. Algeria's media landscape is diverse, with state-owned and private newspapers and TV channels coexisting. While the state controls most of the TV and radio stations, a variety of independent newspapers offer alternative viewpoints. However, issues of press freedom remain a point of contention. While the state dominates Algeria's economy, a growing private sector is emerging, particularly in the food, beverage, and construction industries. Despite challenges, Algeria has potential growth sectors such as tourism and renewable energy, especially solar power, given the country's ample sunshine. Until we meet again, farewell.